Ooh, well, hey there, folks. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to Southeast Louisiana. Well, guys, I'm out and about. Huh, man, I've been laying around, lazy day, day off. Uh, let it cool down. Got up to 90. <laughs> but uh, let it cool down a little bit and got a task I need to do. Uh, check out these irises blooming, finally. Yeah, got some irises going. Uh, the yellow ones aren't quite out yet. And those, yeah, those are the yellow ones. So it's a lazy day, it smells like spring. You can smell the honeysuckle starting. Uh, you can get near the colonies, you can just smell the, the nectar coming in and the, you know, the different things going on with the colonies growing. But uh, it's, uh, it's been a very busy spring. Um, I'm running a few more colonies than I like to run, so I, uh, I've been busy, busy. Just, you know, keeping the swarms at bay best you can and things like that. But I uh, got something I got to do today, really quick. As I let you know, you can look behind me and notice that uh, there's no supers there. Well, that's because most of them are on the colonies. And it's not even our main flow. But what I got to do today really quick, and hopefully this is really quick, is just go out here. I'm not playing. I've been in the bees. I get in them once a week, two days in a row. I get in them once a week. Go through all these as many as I can and try and get the ones in town. And uh, it takes me about two days to really go through them at my pace. So uh, what I did was I... Had a colony and it had some cells in it. I cut the cells out of it, or the starts of cells, and I gave them some space and took three frames of solid brood off with the bees and one small shake of bees in a nuke. I looked at the frames and hope, you know, I didn't see the queen on her, but I couldn't find her, but I didn't see them on the ones that I put in the nuke. I said, you know what, I'll go in a week and if I accidentally moved her, oh well. Well, guess what, I accidentally moved her. So, I went back to the nuke this is next week. I went back to the nuke, caught her up, put her in a cage. And um, put her back in the parent hive. Took all the emergency cells I found in the parent hive and split those between different nukes I'd split off that day. But I wasn't sweating and I thought there was a chance I could have got her since I didn't ever find her through the whole thing. And it wasn't a big deal. I'm only going to lose about a week uh, to eight days of emergence. Um, because I do put her in there in the cage and let her be reintroduced. I do the same thing with virgins. I put it, and you don't have to, I know, and, and some people will spray them with um, uh, Honey Be Healthy. Some people will spray them. I saw, I want to say Steve-O had some vanilla he mixed in with his sugar syrup. Some will just use sugar syrup. Some will smoke everything real good and then just let the virgins or the queens go in and open release them. Um, but what I normally do is I'll take and put a virgin, a queen, I mean a virgin in a cage. I'll put her in there. I don't put anything on them. Uh, and I leave them, I'll smoke it around, I'll leave her in there for a day, maybe two days, usually a virgin two days. Um, then I just release her and, let, and watch her go out and watch the bees mess with her. And if she's in that cage and they don't like her, they'll kill her um, in that cage if they can get to her or they won't feed her. But usually I'll release her and she'll go fine or she won't. Really most of the time they do fine. And I do the same thing with the regular queen. Even though the mated queen came from this colony, I still thought it best to go ahead and just do that. Just go ahead and be on the safe side because I really don't want to lose her. I could have left her in a nuke now. I understand that and grown the nuke up. She was a laying queen. But I, I wanted her back in that production colony. Um, that was my goal was to keep that a production colony, keep them from swarming, and keep them going and make a nuke off of them. But I knew if I moved her, it wasn't a big deal. just lost a week or so. And uh, But I meant to release her yesterday, and I didn't. I, I got busy cutting grass and doing things in the yard and just didn't get to it. So I'm going to release her today. I normally wouldn't have left her there for two days. But, you know, and I don't use a candy plug. If I ever do use candy, I'll shove a marshmallow, marshmallow in there, in that little tube. But a marshmallow's fast, and they, they, they'll they have that thing done in a few hours. So, introducing a queen with a marshmallow will work, but uh, it is a quick release. But uh, I just manually release her. Two days, that's fine. She should be fine. We'll let her go. They had, when I put the cage up there, they kind of liked the cage. They were happy with the cage. So, hey, we'll go out there and we'll release her real quick. Man, that's a huge woodpecker. Oh my goodness. Let me get this stuff out and we'll uh, go out there real quick. And look, this one here where they ended up making a bunch of emergency cells on me. Um, because I moved the queen. It worked out good because this is a very prolific queen. And having her uh, propagated elsewhere, man, that's going to be a good thing. Um, so kind of good. It worked out well that I moved for a week, made a bunch of emergency cells. And now I can turn around and put those in a bunch of nukes and... 
I'm gonna sell a lot of those nukes and I think people are gonna be getting some really good queens. We got some bad weather moving in so I wanted to hurry up and get on out here but uh, bees are working hard in the cloud cover. It's sunshine and it clouds up. It's partly cloudy. The bee yard is busy but you can see all the supers I got on for space. Some of them like this one here is actually filling uh, 15. Had to put another one on because they're filling up really quick so um, but this is the one. See, yeah, 18. This is the one right here we need to release a queen in. That's a brand new one uh, of a split that I moved. And they made a queen from the cell I gave them. They're doing well. I need to get this pollen trap going when this one grows a little bit. Years ago, somebody said one of the hardest things in beekeeping is keeping the smoker lit. Actually, I keep it lit pretty well now. I've got a good system. I have to show you all that one day as far as how I load it and pack it. But, uh... It just don't want to get going today because I didn't put anything fresh in it and it's still got a lot of it's got a lot of moisture. But let's get let's get this queen released. Ain't got anything stuck down. I'm in there, I don't know, starting. And she is, she's doing just fine. The bees were on her doing uh, what they normally do. Now let's take a look, let them rise back up, smoke them down. We're gonna open the lid and just kind of let them out. Let me put that frame back together. Just watch and see what they do on the cage. It's usually telltale signs. I'm put these frames back together, space them a little better. All right, they're getting on the cage, they know it's her. They don't seem to be crazy. Doing what they would normally do. So what I like to do, the problem is, if they do decide to ball her, you gotta be quick to grab her, so. There she goes. And she went right on in. They didn't ball up on her or anything. In she went. They didn't jump on her real fast, but then again, she kind of snuck out right through them. But she went right through a, a gambit of them after I put a little smoke on them. And, uh,. We'll see how they do, but that is their queen. They should take her. Shouldn't be an issue, but just being on the safe side. Get that pheromone smell off of there. They must think she's still in there. Go on out of there. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. All righty. So we got her back. They'll lose about... A week of emergence that's not terrible main flow doesn't come for another oh goodness three to four weeks well, let's take a look box has a little bit of weight to it they're fixing and repairing the wax and they're loading it full of nectar so we want to see I don't call that completely oh man that slipped I don't call that completely turning the quarter corner yet on them When they turn the corner, uh, they'll usually s slow up on the swarm tendency. And then there's a second frame. So just starting on getting the nectar in. Just starting. And we've got a, another box up here with fresh foundation. It's a nine framer. But fresh foundation clean they're not they're not excited about me they must know there's rain coming I always keep this cage with a cap in my pocket in case a situation like that arises so that day I went in here and I saw emergency cells I said, yep just as I thought I moved her yep so uh, so 
you know, don't have to run back and find a cage. Just able to go to that new. As soon as I spotted her, you know, uh, grabbed her up with my fingers, put her in there, and you know, you're ready to go. You got her set. So a lot of blackberries blooming. They get a lot of nectar off of blackberries. Now it's not a, you know, we don't have the type of flow from blackberries that you're going to be able to harvest honey from. But that is a great buildup crop. And hopefully it gets heavy enough sometimes to turn that corner. So when I'm telling you about turning the corner, what am I talking about? What I'm talking about with turn the corner is that point where they decide to finally, finally uh, slow up on the swarming urge. Busy bees loading up, loading up nectar on those, loading up. don't see much pollen coming in and that's because it's uh it's one of two things there is a flow of some sort and it's not a heavy one but we've got a lot of clover blackberries as you saw um some of the privets starting to come out and so what you see is when they're when they're worried with nectar you won't see pollen coming in or it's very hot today it's beginning to get hot and it could be water coming in from the pond but then you can turn right around and come in here like say 10 in the morning and you'll see pollen coming in just depending but right now that's kind of the turn the corner for me it's not really all about brood rearing so much as it is about nectar gathering and storing up for the upcoming winter in months to come and they seem to finally turn that corner as you can see we got several of the pro nukes around I keep them in the shade people have warned me about the heat both commenters and a friend that uses them here um, just watch the heat they say with them. So I've got them all in the shade. I got these two in the shade That's my old garden First time in 12 years was last year. I didn't grow a garden first time So I just left the clover that grew up wild the grass is finally growing in of course you go like this On the mower because I never did get it leveled out properly probably have to fill it But left the clover out for the bees a couple pro nukes. That's that's where the the queen was sitting She was in there. So I took her out and put her in that cage really quick uh, got her out but they're, they're only three I did in the shake of bees I did was small I don't want to take a lot I didn't want to I don't want to hit them hard this time of year because we need them to really be producing in another month we need them and then they'll grow in a month easily you know but you're talking about three good frames full of brood both sides and and a shake of bees that's a pretty good hit to slow them back and uh, and it did it did but I took their queen of course, that was going to slow them back. Uh, the pond is full. We've had a ton of rain. Somebody said it was going to be a dry spring. I don't think so. And there's haven't seen any seen a lot of frogs in here. I don't have fish in here because it has dried up. Although the birds bring eggs in sometimes, and uh, there was a time when they were fishing it, but it's been full now for the last three or four years, and that went dry. So there might be some in there. Uh, snakes wise hadn't seen any moccasins that's good only seen you know a few banded water snakes no, no biggie there but it's great for the bees to have this right here and then we got a few more pro nukes sitting around in the shade of course they do get a little bit of uh, 11 to 1 Sun which ain't great but not gonna be there long because uh, everybody's got cells and Two of those. Oh, there's a snake right there. That's a little black snake. I don't know what that is. Yeah, a little black racer. Oh, he's living under that log. I don't see him. There's a little black racer, I think is what that was. Yeah, the green and the blue. Should have queens by now. I need to get them out and ready to sell. And a green over there got a sell, but I think they already had a queen, so they'll kill it. So there you go, lots of nukes, little pairs. Uh, Alright guys, hope that queen does fine in there. We'll check her next week and see how she does. If not, they'll make emergency sales. Or will they? Hmm? 
Probably won't because they don't have eggs, so we'll have to use a resource nuke. But if not, she'll be laying. Yeah, lose a week or so. They'll still be rocking and rolling. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that quick trip out to the yard. A little explanation of what I'm doing. And uh, I still got to go out and check that second swarm trap. Maybe I'll make a video on that later today or tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.